we are going to find the exact values of these half angles given that 3 times the tangent of theta equals 3 and that theta is between minus 180, that's coming around the circle this way and getting here to minus 180 and minus 90, that's here. So what that means is that we're in the third quadrant. So if the tangent of theta, if three times the tangent of theta is three and we divide both sides by three, we find out that the tangent of theta equals one. And that happens at the pi over fours or the 45s, since you're in degrees. So here's negative 45 right here. Let's do it in purple. Here's negative 45 right about here. Here's negative 90. I guess we can cover over it. Here's negative uh, 135. And this is the angle that we are talking about because it's in the third quadrant. We are talking about this, which is negative one, two, three pi over four, or in degrees, it's negative 90 minus 45 is negative 135 degrees. So that's what theta equals which means that theta over two is at negative 67.5 degrees. Now that puts theta over two here in green over here somewhere. Let's go 45, negative 67. It's right about here. So this is negative 67.5 degrees or theta over two. Notice this is in the, well, let's do this. Notice that theta over two is in the fourth quadrant. while our original theta, one, two, three, this, our original theta is in the third quadrant. Now, that means that if you are, if your angle theta over two is in the fourth quadrant, that means that the cosine, it's to the right, of the y-axis, so it's going to be positive. It's below the x-axis, so that means that the sine is going to be negative. And because the cosine and the sine have different polarity, that means that the tangent will also be negative. Oh, I left out the plus and minus on here. These formulas should say plus and minus, plus and minus. So we have to use this information, the fact that we're in the fourth quadrant, to choose for the cosine, we're going to use the plus. For the sine, we're going to choose the minus. And for the tangent, we're going to choose the minus. Okay. Now, there's a few more preliminaries. Um, if the tangent of theta is 1, and we are at negative 135 degrees, here's our original theta. This is theta here. 
Um, we need the cosine of theta to find the sine, the cosine, and the tangent of theta over 2. And because we are in the third quadrant, this cosine is negative. We're the same distance in x as we are in y, but the cosine part is negative. This is negative radical 2 over 2. So um, I think all we need to do now is plug this in. And I would like to do this math outside here real quickly. If I have 1 plus or minus the cosine of theta, which is negative square root of 2 over 2, and I'm supposed to divide that by 2, I have this messy complex fraction. So if I multiply the top by 2 and the bottom by 2, so I'm multiplying by 1, I end up with 2 minus or plus. Um, see, those 2s are going to cancel, so we're going to get the square root of 2 over 4. And if I take the square root of it, which is what this is showing, um, that gives me 2 minus or plus the square root of 2 under a radical, but the square root of 4 is just 2. So we can write these. So this is going to be 1 minus a negative, which makes this a plus. So this is going to be the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 all over 2. And this is 1 minus radical 2 over 2, which makes this the square root of 2 minus the square root of 2. Sorry, I have to erase this cosine thing. I'll rewrite it over here. I'll make this neater also. So here the cosine of theta is negative radical 2 over 2. OK, so this is 2 minus square root of 2 all over 2. And tangent, this is plus, this is minus. We need a minus out here. This is plus, and tangent is minus. And we know that tangent is just sine over cosine. It'll be a complex fraction. The twos will cancel. This is going to end up being negative radical 2 plus the square root of 2 over 2 minus the square root of 2. And those are your exact answers. Um, I can go to this other board and write them more neatly. So what we have is that the sine of theta over 2 is the negative square root, I don't need it that big, negative square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 all over 2, that the cosine of theta over 2 is the positive square root of 2 minus the square root of 2 all over 2, and that the tangent 
of theta over 2 is negative, and then we're going to put sine over cosine. If I put it over 2 and then put the other one over 2, and then did the fraction division, the 2s would cancel. And so that's the final answers. Thank <music> you.